I am so excited about what's in this bag right here. Get it, buddy. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Go ahead and open it, Coop, get it. Someone's fired up over, oh, he's, he's getting after Bella. The two of them have been going at it this morning. Look at that tail, sticking straight out. All right, buddy, let's make sure that we're, oh, you're doing such a good job. How does he do that? He takes these little pieces and then spits them back out. You ready? This is gonna be a, oh, I'm actually really excited to see Coda's reaction to this because this is probably his least favorite episode of all time. He's really involved and excited right now though, so He's, maybe we'll get a little something out of it. Maybe. Summer definitely came early to Florida this year. We're not sure what it was, but like two weeks ago, a light switch flicked and all of a sudden it was 80 degrees every day, sunny. We've even started to get kind of like some rainstorms and things like we do in the summer. It's super early this year. So we gotta work on those summer bods. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. So Coop had his yearly vet checkup the other day, just kind of normal shots and stuff, everything's good. But we always weigh him in. You were in the car on the phone yeah. when we weighed him in. He's 69 pounds. Which is fine if you have like a full American golden retriever, but he's an English cream golden retriever and they're significantly smaller. So 69 is- He, he used to be like low, low, I mean, it's not unhealthy. He's normal like between 63 and 65. Listen, we've but... all put on some winter weight, it's fine. So I would say we're a pretty active family, but uh, lately, like the last year or so, maybe a little bit longer than that, Chelsea and I have been hitting the gym pretty hard. We've been eating a little bit better, just trying to be healthier overall. And something involved with that has been running, which has never been my thing. I ran cross country in like seventh grade and that's when I stopped. I didn't run from seventh grade until like six months ago. Whereas you love running. I love it. So you've kind of got me into running. I actually kind of enjoy it now. And we thought since we're running more, maybe we could incorporate them. This is one of those things you put around your waist and then you attach the leash to them. You can run hands free basically. Why don't you go ahead and strap this on, look at that. I do have to preface this with when I got Coda, I was single and I was scared to like go running by myself and I thought that he was gonna be my running partner. <laughs> So I would just, as we're going through today, I would like us all to keep that in mind. You're up first, buddy. Oh, Coop thinks he's getting hooked in. Maybe a leisurely stroll around the house just to test it first. Wow. He's staying pretty true here. He's always been so good about healing and staying close to your side and everything. Good boy. You're gonna get a turn too. <laughs> Coop, yours is coming. I mean, at a leisurely stroll, he's good. I wonder what's gonna happen if we go at a, a faster pace. I don't even know if he has a faster pace. He just wants to sniff. Sniff in the wind. Absolutely exhilarating episode. Oh, there's our first stop. Got a sniff. <laughs> oh, Coda. I was. <laughs> I was setting up for you guys to walk over the camera. He thinks he's in the grass. He had two feet in the grass. Missed 100% of the grass though. He's setting up a finish line right there. Maybe we can race later. We've got one on each side. Dakota. Every single day. We're just doing our best, right? That's all we can do. What does he think is happening? The other day when we were going to the vet, Trevor had to come like pick us up and we were running late. So I just put his leash on so we were ready to go. He was just running around the house. <laughs> just running. Everyone loves walks, right? This is the wild card. This is the maybe not gonna stay perfectly next to you. He used to have it down. Long time fans know he used to go to puppy class. Unfortunately, we just didn't, well, I didn't stay consistent with it. Good boy. Hi, Al. <laughs> Like he's doing pretty good. And he crossed the finish line. Good boy. Decent walker. Coda definitely has the lead. Oh, oh, got caught up again. Just too many things to sniff. He's got a lot on his itinerary. For my next test, I'm just gonna sit right here. You're gonna stand there and we're gonna see how long it takes for you to get wrapped up. Oh, first half of a wrap. He wants to go do the play in, please. Oh. Oh, almost a full wrap. <laughs> he gets all wrapped up and then he's upset that he can't move. Now here's the deal. This is a two-part competition. Partially about manners on the leash, which we know who's gonna win. Partially about speed and endurance. I don't think he's gonna make it a tenth of a mile. Good boy, come on. Not much more than a trot. 
Good boy, come on. This isn't really even running. You've gone 133 feet. Looks like he's slowing down at this point. A little bit, still moving, but slowing down. You're at 326 feet. Your pace is a 14, 14 minute and 41 second mile, dude. Oh, they're making the turn, they're making the turn. He's still trotting. Good boy, Coda, good boy. He's made it 0.11. We're significantly slowing down. Pick up your feet. You're almost there. I mean, movement's movement, we'll take it. This kind of reminds me of when you see old ladies who are all, you know, dressed in nines and the neon and they've got like the little two and a half pound power weights and they're, they're power walking, but not really even power walking. They're going really slow. That's basically what Coda's doing right here. Come on, Coda, you got it. You're three houses away, come oh, on. Oh, he's trying Dakota, to get away, come. he's trying to get away. You're almost there, you got it. Good boy, Coda, come on, let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we ran it right out of him. Okay, well, we'll have to come back and clean that up. Coda, Coda, Coda. Anybody who's a runner knows that happens sometimes. Come on, buddy, let's go. He's way more aerodynamic now. He dropped weight. Good boy, good boy, you did it. Oh, he swerved. He's still going. All right, keep going. We're trying for a quarter mile. Woohoo, Coda, good boy. Good job. He didn't even want to see me. Slow and steady wins the race. This is the tortoise and the hare in live action. You did a quarter mile. Quarter mile. You did so good. Look at you. Did it actually work pretty well? Yes and no. We we got up to a 14 minute, 41 second mile. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, we really that's walking moving. pace. That's walking pace. <laughs> he tried to leave a banana in the middle of the road like it's Mario Kart, <laughs> trying to <laughs> swerve out the competition. We're going to have to go get a bag and pick that up. I can't think of any better trophy than a fat bowl of water. Here we go. Oh, he's trying to get to me. Good job, Coop. Keep going. Notice the difference. One was basically hardly moving the other one she's having to hold on with her other hand i still haven't even let go because he's just being wild he is pulling as much as he can no 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 he's applying pressure it can't feel good on his neck coop if we run the same pace watch out don't step in it so this is our brand new insta 360 one x3 it's on a giant pole got to do some cool pov videos with this but um I'm gonna hand it off. It's kind of like a baton pass. Here we go. Boom, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep, keep going. Good. It's, it's track and field, keep going, good boy. Keep going. He thinks it's a big stick or something. He keeps looking at it. I love that we've lived here long enough and all of our neighbors know us, that this isn't weird. Tuesday, Chelsea running around with a waist leash and a camera on a six foot pole. He's at a third of a mile. We were going for a half. I've lost my ponytail. He's still going strong. If he would run a little to the side and stay on course and not weave back and forth, he'd be okay. Ah, oh, Tina, no, Tina. Just a second, friend alert. I'm pretty sure Tina, the dog, is outside down there. She's a sweetheart. We give her a lot of extra bark boxes and stuff. Okay, Tina, go home, come on. You better go, your daddy's gonna be mad, Tina, go. Good girl, all the way. It was really cute, but I'm sad. He was running a nine minute, 50 second. Oh, then, he's gonna break 10, good job, buddy. And then Tina came out. Oh, look who we have waiting for us in the window. Do you think cats like cardio? Yes. No. We tried to bring her outside because she always begs to be out here with the boys. She didn't like it. She just wants them to be inside. <laughs> All right. In we go. Nice job, babe. That can't be it, right? You're only good for a half mile? Me? Yeah. I can keep going. You might notice I'm not the one that's heavy breathing or sucking down water. I'm just saying. It's been like 15 minutes and Coda's still breathing hard. <laughs> We're attempting. A two dog jog. Oh my gosh, she does pull. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good boy, cool. It kind of makes running easier. It's like running on an escalator. Or like the people movers at the airport. Like I've, I've got some momentum happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next week. Peace out.